Okay, everybody. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe I'm on step eight. <laughs> Lost track. secure down here. I did want to notice one thing. This little bracket. Uh, as the belt moves back and forth, it's got a high probability of running right into the side. Uh, I know a quick fix for that, but I'm not going to do that yet. That'll be later. So, on to the next step, which is attaching the heat bed. So we will need the heat bed, number 71. Uh, in some kits you will need the heating wire itself, therm resistor, you need to do some soldering in this case. So all done. Beautiful. Take the glass and uh, set it aside. Now you're going to need the heat bed for the springs. See that? There you go. You're going to need four of the M3 by 35 nut, uh, screws, and then four of the M3 wing nuts, number 15. Uh, wing nuts are number 15, springs are number 37, the M3 35 screws are number 29, and for some reason in my guide it says the clamps are number 52, in my kit they're number 53. So, we'll figure. So the first steps in my kit would be to solder the wire, in my case it's already soldered on there, and then solder on the thermosistor. resistor, but mine's already soldered on there. Attach with capped on tape, I've already done that. Okay. In this kit I just guess I go straight to the end of step uh, 8, I think we're on. to the bottom. So, screw, spring, and then wing nut. Uh, you do want the wires for the heat bed facing towards the y-axis motor. fourth one so the spring goes in between the bed and the heat bed and that goes right through the corner on through to the bottom excuse me the screw goes on through the bed through the spring into the bottom bed and 
and secure with the wing nut. My guess is on the bottom. And the picture shows the top of the screw up top. Not like I'm doing a YouTube video or nothing. that is attached and my luck is uh, I just realized I put it in upside down <laughs> Start that one over.